Okay, so real quick, this is in color what we drew a second ago. So three, seven, nine, and 10. And then now we're gonna go ahead and do cranial nerve seven, the facial nerve. This is it in color, but I'll draw it by hand so I can explain it in case you wanna draw it. So cranial nerve seven. And so coming off the brainstem, we have a ton of different fibers. And so for cranial nerve seven, you have parasympathetics, you have motor, you have sensory, you have a lot of stuff going on. So mm, we can do greater patrol nerve first. So coming off the brainstem and everything, as soon as it comes out of the brainstem, is gonna go through internal auditory meatus. And greater patrol nerve, as soon as it comes out, it's gonna hang over here. And GPN, as we said, is a parasympathetic from earlier, so you can tie that there. And so like we said earlier, it's gonna go and synapse at the PT ganglia. And it's gonna go on and do its job by getting to the lacrimal gland. And it's gonna to go to the oral and nasal mucosa. So that's your palate. Um, so we're gonna add a few things here. Um, so PT ganglia, we mentioned earlier, that is hanging off of V2. So V2 is running here, and we're gonna see that in a sec when we do trigeminal. And you will find this in lab, it's hanging off of it. You can actually kind of see a little thing hanging off. And another thing to add that as we're going to the lacrimal gland area, this is gonna hitch a ride on V1 off of trigeminal to get there. That will make sense later as well. And so here, as we're getting to the PT ganglia, you have the PT canal. And something else to add, that this is greater petrosal nerve, and greater petrosal nerve, like we said, is parasympathetics. But you also have this nerve that comes in later. Do you guys know what it is, by the way? What? Which nerve joins it? Mm -hmm. Deep petrosal nerve. So deep petrosal nerve is gonna come in out of nowhere, and it's gonna join greater petrosal nerve. Now, greater petrosal nerve is PNS. Do you guys know what deep petrosal nerve is? This one carries sympathetic fibers. So sympathetic fibers are gonna join here, and when they join together, they become the vidian nerve, or the nerve of the PT gang, of the PT canal. You guys heard vidian? I'm not sure if the spelling's right, but vidian nerve. And so vidian nerve right here is gonna go through the PT canal, which is this area here, and it's gonna pop out. So that's that, and so we have other fibers coming out. We can do how about motor fibers? So motor fiber is gonna come out, cell body of origin from the brainstem, go through internal auditory meatus, and as you're going down, maybe I'll draw it like this. So coming down, you're gonna have nerve to stapedius, here-ish. So going to your ear, and then coming down, let's see, you have your stylo, mastoid foramen. And when you pop out of the stylomastoid foramen, you're gonna have posterior auricular nerve. And then you're gonna have nerve to stylohyoid. And you're gonna have posterior digastric muscle. So you can keep all those muscles in mind. Those are all motor. And it's color coded in the picture. We can see that in a sec. And then you're gonna go on, you're gonna pierce your parotid. I'm sure you guys have seen the parotid a bunch of times. So just keep in mind that it's around here-ish. And then you've got your five fingers to the face, temporal, zygomatic, to the buccal, mandibular, and cervical. And hopefully you've seen all these. Um, these motors, these are all very high yield. Um, and then let's see. So one thing to keep in mind here, between internal auditory meatus and stylomastoid foramen, do you guys know what that's called? It's a canal. Facial canal. There you go. That's your facial canal right there. And all right, the last thing to add is a fun one that confuses everyone because this has sensory fibers and people hate it. So, corda tympani. 
So also coming off the brainstem, we're going to come down and let's do it like this. Okay. So you have corded tympani and like we mentioned earlier, corded tympani is going to try to synapse. I'll do it like that. And this is the submandibular ganglia. And then it's going to go on and do its job over at submandibular gland and sublingual gland. So we said that earlier. You can tie that there. So if cranial nerve 7 is sending out these fibers and it's trying to get to your mouth, your tongue kind of area, these sensory fibers of corda tympani, they need to get there and there's already something heading that way and that's lingual nerve. So lingual nerve is a branch off of V3 that we said earlier. And it's already heading there, obviously lingual tongue, right? So that's what's happening here. The corda tympani is going to come and hitch a ride on lingual nerve to get to this ganglia here, if that makes sense. So it's coming out, it needs to get there, so it's going to jump on lingual nerve, and that's how it's going to get to this submandibular ganglia to do its thing. And to keep in mind, you have sensory fibers, and corda tympani also does, I believe, taste to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and obviously secretomotor motor glands. So it's doing sensory and PNS. There's your PNS. And I believe that's all of it for facial nerve. And then you can see it here in color. That's probably the one you wanna draw. The red is the sensory fibers. To keep that in mind, there's your lingual nerve V3 going. And the blue is your PNS. And that's it.